50. They got 50 cent in the crowd. God, look at that chain. We still rocking them big ass chains like it's 2006? What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to another breakdown. Welcome to the last week of the regular season. And now is the best time of the year, man. This is when it get good. This is when the matchups get interesting, when people start playing because they actually got stuff to lose. And last night we saw the Washington Wizards go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Minnesota Timberwolves, the best team in the Western Conference. Like I said, some teams this week are preparing for the playoffs, playing tournament. You know, they're ramping up. They're trying to get their playoff seating right. Some teams this week are preparing for Cancun. They're getting them vacation plans in. Washington Wizards is one of those teams. But even sometimes when you have a team that's not going to make the playoffs, their mission is to mess up your matchup and to mess up your playoff seed. And so that's what we saw from the Washington Wizards. They gave a good fight. But Anthony Edwards dropped in 51 points last night to give his team the W and remain at the top of the West. He's probably going to win some kind of award. If he doesn't, it'll be pretty blasphemous because Anthony Edwards is, is, is damn near Michael Jordan, bro. Don't believe me? Let's jump into this film. Let's see where he got his 50 piece from. All right, let's get right to it, y'all. First play right here, 8-0, screen up top. Fade into a three-pointer right here. Very simple play. This is just a side screen and roll. Instead of rolling it, what he does is he just stops right here, fades into this open spot right here. All right, here we go, y'all. First play right here, first quarter, we're down 19 already. Gives him a fadeaway turnaround over the right shoulder, looking just like Michael Jordan. Just like Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Back him down to your spot. One bump to get in his chest, no diddy. Another bump for, to set up the move. Look at this shoulder fake right here. Boom, turn around. What really, what really sells his move and makes his move so lethal is the eyes. I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you look at Anthony Edwards' eyes, as he's setting up this move, as he's coming across, when you fake right there, you actually really want to look towards the baseline. When I do my fakes, it's eyes first and then shoulders and then the feet or knees or whatever. But you want to make sure your eyes are actually looking towards the baseline, which is going to sell the shoulder fake to the baseline. If you're not looking, then it's probably not going to work. If you just do a dribble half ass fade, but you don't sell the, you know, you know, you don't sell the eyes, it's not going to work. The eyes is really what makes this move work because the defense has to actually think that you want to go that way. Here we go. ISO on the elbow. Another one, backing him down, getting to a spot, give it up, get it back. Just goes over the top of him. And one, very easy, very simple right here. I see this happen with a lot of players in the gym, though. It's, it's almost as if they're thinking too much. Like, they get into the post, they have the matchup that they like on a smaller defender, and then you go blank. Your mind goes blank. You don't know what move to do. You don't know which way to go. So instead, you literally just back him down and just go up over the top of him with a little floater. Basic stuff. If you got a mismatch, you got a matchup that you like over the defender, he's not strong enough to keep you out of your spot, use it every time down. Abuse that. Make sure that they know that if he's on me, I'm coming down here to this paint every time until you switch it. Transition right here. Good hustle. Here we go. This one. Oh my God. Great take. Look at the change of, look at the burst. He's walking up to the spot right here. And this is another thing. This is like another little lesson in change of pace. Like everybody thinks change of pace is just on the ball. Change of pace really includes off the ball as well. You can see as he's walking up here, he's walking slow. Walking slow, I'm walking up to my spot, which means the defense, he's walking up slow as well. He's mirroring his offensive matchup. I catch right here, and then immediately I blow by. So that's how you catch defenses off guard. Off the ball, you move slow. As soon as you get it, kick that thing in the fifth gear and you go right past him and pay attention once he gets to the rim right here he goes acceleration right here gets to the rim he know he got a, a taller defender on him so once he gets down here he gives him a small panoy step is what they call it nowadays with his first step you slow down let the defender fly by and then you kind of hang in the air put it up there notice as he gets closer to the rim he slows down once he starts taking those steps tough finish here we go high screen attack right past him good take oh my god screen up top they switch it and this is the matchup that we like we're blowing past this guy every time 
not wasting any time soon as he steps up one move and go right past him help defense steps up show the ball high bring it back around i always say this is is when you're attacking the basket, if you show that ball high to the defender, they're gonna they're gonna go for it. They're gonna jump, they're gonna put their hands up, they're gonna fall for the bait. So when you attack, if you just show the ball high at first, get that first defender out of the way, then you can move it, maneuver it, adjust, finger roll, put it in. Back them down, turn around, fade away, off the backboard, looking just like MJ. Watch the hands. This is what I like. I like a I like I like players that have that edge. Anthony Edwards not only is he a great basketball player he's got that edge he's got that fire I see a lot of these great players that are kind of passive your favorite player is probably a little passive that don't make him great to be great you got to have that dog in you, you got to have that, that edge that mentality Anthony Edwards you, you you can see it you could you could tell as soon as he steps on the court he's got edge to him little stuff like this as he's backing him down defender wants to put his hand on your hip that off me man we ain't doing that get off me guard up put his hands there get off me get off me get off me stop doing uh take this bump right to his chest get right down here on the block to your position two feet into the paint and then from here you just turn turn it out use the backboard as help we saw Kyrie, uh devin booker's breakdown use the backboard It's there for a reason make sure you use the glass on these turnaround jumpers Back your defender down, get him to the spot that you want to that you want to be at, that you feel comfortable, and then you just turn around over the top of him. ISO up top. What we got here? Uh. Tough. At this point, it's a tie game. The momentum is starting to shift towards Minnesota. They came back from about 20 points. Anthony Edwards is, is on a tear in this third quarter. This is really just a heat check right here. If you if, if he hits this, the crowd goes crazy. Now we have the lead. And they really never recovered after this. It's a very basic move. Nothing crazy, nothing flashy. It's just, you know, if you're gonna back up and give me space, I'm just I'm gonna shoot that shot. Very, very smart, simple shot. Tie game once again. Give it up, get it back. Oh, good move. Mm. Check this out. We got Mike Conley. Is that Mike Conley? That ain't Mike Conley. Forgive me. I don't know who that is. He's coming to set this screen right here. What they're trying to set up is a little bit of that Golden State splits action where this guy passes the ball into the paint. This guy comes over to set a screen, and then, you know, you can cut over here. He can pop out for the three. You have a lot of options right here. Once you have the ball in the paint right here, you have a lot of options to go from. So ball goes into the paint, he comes to set the screen, and then he fakes it. Defender wasn't ready for that, I'm gonna be honest. He was not anticipating the fake. He's anticipating Anthony to go right over the screen and run the play as called. But great players know how to improvise and call an audible. Screen comes, I know you're gonna bite it, go over the top of it, so I'm gonna cheat it. I'm gonna fake it, flare out, and now he has all this space wide open coming to get this hand off. Big man doesn't step up. All you gotta do is knock down a three. ISO up top, two drip. Oh my God. Mm. That's that's the Michael Jordan, man. They don't want to believe it. The man has Michael Jordan blood in him. I'm talking about physically and on the court. On the court, he's got the moves down pat. He takes two dribbles to the elbow, stop, shimmy, turn, fade away over the. Come on, man. Come on, man. If he playing like this, they they might mess around and win a championship next year. I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun because they damn sure not winning it this year. But they might, eh, they, eh. it might be in his cards, bro. The boy got swagger. Look at him. Here we go. I'm taking him down into the post again. Back his ass down. Pump fake. Just pivot. Oh, I wish he would have got that off, man. Even though even though he still got the points out of it, I wish. You back him down, turn out, pump fake. He goes for the for the bait. You pivot, step through, and finish on the left hand side of the rim. That would have been so pretty, and it would have helped me out for my Michael Jordan montage for you know me hyping this guy up. But I don't gotta hype him up, man. Anthony Edwards is is, is him. Big time. He's a big time player too. Pump fake, 
attack, put him in jail, floater, textbook. He could do everything, bro. He's still 6'6", too. He'll put that thing down on your head. He could hit the three. He could do a pull-up jump shot. He could back you down and hit a turnaround fadeaway J. And then right here, we see him with the, the pump fake. I go past you, but I'm smart enough, and I'm, I got the wherewithal to stop, slide over, jump in front of you, put you in jail. So now at this point, you can't even get back into the play if you wanted to. He's got you on his back, and you're essentially out of the play. You can't, you can't really recover. Now it's just up to this guy to come and step up and hope that he could stop something. I dribble into the space that I want. Two-foot floater right up and over the big man. The help defense never comes up, never contests. This is just smart basketball, just carving up defense like a butter knife. Here we go, coming down once again. Iso, pull up jump shot. Bang. This is this is the position that you put defenses in after you done drove past them and made five layups. I done drove past you and did my pull up shot. Now when I'm dribbling down the floor, you don't want to step up because I'm going to blow right past you because I've done it 10 times already. You don't want to step up. You're going to give me that space. And when you give me that space, now you're allowing me to just walk into a comfortable three-pointer. Look how comfortable he walks into this. This is practice shot. All of that space. That's way too much space for a professional NBA player. I don't care who you are. And he knows it too. Look at it. He's like one hand in the air. He's like, ah, sh my bad. My bad, coach. Here we go. This game is pretty much over at this point. Two, two and a half minutes left. We're up 12. Anything could happen though. Uh, right past him once again this is what i was talking about last time when you come down and you blow you blow by somebody so easily they're gonna give you some space and if they don't give you the space if in this case if they're gonna have their heels above the three-point line then that's what we want that's dog food because we gonna go right past him if you're gonna come by you're 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 standing flat-footed little hezzy attack one move and go right past him froze the defense with the hezzy right past him to the rim finish above everybody this game's over at this point yeah this is this is pretty much over 50 they got 50 cent in the crowd now look at that chain we still rocking them big ass chains like it's 2006 golly Shout out Anthony Edwards, man. He's he's definitely him. He's definitely one of the best players in the NBA in a short time. It's only like his fourth year, fourth or fifth year. And he's led his team to the number one seed in the West. Probably the strongest conference in basketball for the last 10 years. And he's doing it with plays like this, being very decisive on the basketball floor. Like he keeps defenses guessing and he keeps defenses uncomfortable. And that's what makes you a great player. And on top of that, he's got the edge, he's got the motor and he's competitive as hell. So I definitely think he's got at least one championship in his future. Maybe not this year, because I think the Celtics might take it this year. But next year, y'all might have to look out for them boys in Minnesota. Till next time, make sure you guys like the video, comment if there's anybody you want to see broken down, and uh, we out. <laughs>